everybody, this is another Hot Wheels Collector video. Today I'm going to be showcasing and reacting to the 2024 FKS. I'm going to be switching up the style a little bit here. We're going to first of all go through everything new, so all the new recolors and new castings, and then we are going to be taking a look at everything returning from the previous case. And that will be a lot more briefly, so I don't want to waste too much time on stuff we've already seen in previous cases. And I want to focus more on the new stuff. So that is what we're going to be kind of trying out for this video. And I hope you guys do enjoy this new style. But before we go any further, I must shout out Ministry of Diecast for this footage. Without him, this video would not be possible. I cannot thank him enough. So please do check out the original video. It will be linked in the pinned comment as well as in the description of this video. But yeah, there's plenty of good stuff in this case. You definitely want to wait all the way to the end because there is something for everyone. But without further ado, let's get straight into this reaction then. Firstly, let's take a look at everything new for this case. So first up, we do have the Custom Otto. Now then, this thing has been painted in glossy white. It does receive side and top tamper work and is rolling on the five spoke muscle wheels, which have been done in black with a chrome blue lip to them. That is of course a fantasy casting, which I personally will not be adding to my collection, even though I can safely say that this thing definitely does not look bad. It's a very good looking fantasy car in my opinion. Next up we do have the Punk Rod, now this thing has been painted in this bluish grey colour which does have a matte finish to it, it does receive top tamper work and is rolling on mismatched wheels, so in the front it is rolling on grey aero discs and in the rear it is rolling on the fan 5 spoke wheels, personally I'm not a big fan of how this thing looks and I won't be adding it to my collection. Next up we do have the Terra Tractal, which is a really cool play on words. Now then, this is also a fantasy casting. It does receive size tamper work. It has been painted in glossy black and this car is rolling on the five spoke wheels, which do look very good on this car and have been painted in chrome. This is another one which I will be passing up, but I definitely don't think it looks terrible. In fact, it looks pretty cool. I'm a big fan of the tamper work and the color scheme here. Next up, we do have the Shark Bite. I'm not interested in this thing at all. Now, this thing has been painted in this dark red color, which is glossy, or it appears to be. It does receive top tamper work and is rolling on the five spoke wheels, which have been molded in this light blue plastic, and they have been painted in black. That's a massive pass from me. I don't like it at all. Next up, we do have the Trouble Decker. This is another fantasy casting. Unfortunately, we do not have any licensed castings so far, but keep watching because there is some coming up. This thing has been done in a two-tone color scheme. So the top is done in red and the bottom is done in cream. It does receive side tamper work. And this thing is rolling on these steely wheels, which have been done in black with a nice chrome red lip to them. I'm a big fan of this recolor and I think it looks very, very good, even though it is a fantasy casting. Very good job from the Hot Wheels team. Next up we do have the Tankinator. This is kind of okay. Once again it's a fantasy casting. It does receive side tamper work. This thing has been done in this army green colour and this car is rolling on the six spoke wheels which have been done in black with a chrome yellow lip to them. I'm going to be passing this thing up. It's just not really for me although it does get the army look across very well. Next up we do have the Porsche 911 Carrera. Now this is a brand new casting and it's got a special feature which I will talk about in just a second. But first of all, I would like to mention that this thing does receive side and top tamper work. It has a Zamac finish to it, aka it does not receive any paint and this thing does not have any wheels. Now then, its special feature is it is a key ring. So yep, you can put it on your keys and make your keys look a lot more special. Really cool special feature. That is the same feature which featured on the Coupe Clip new casting for 20 2022. That was a very popular casting and I can see this thing being very popular as well. I'm actually tempted to pick this thing up. It looks very cool and unique. Next up we do have the Mighty K. Now then, this is a really nice recolor of this fantasy casting. Yep, it is a fantasy casting, unfortunately, and not licensed, but still very cool. It has been painted in this what appears to be metallic yellow color. It does receive side and rear tamper work and is rolling on the five spoke wheels, which have been painted in white. I love what the Hot Wheels team have been doing with this casting recently. They have been making it look very much like a real life car, which is always a great thing. It appeals to adult collectors like myself a lot more. 
Next up we do have the Tesla Model Y. This is also brand new for this case. It has been painted in metallic black. It does receive top and rear temple work and is rolling on the 10 spoke wheels which have been painted in black. Once again, I will probably pick this thing up. It's a very nice recolor of the 2023 new casting which is the Tesla Model Y. Next up we do have the 70 Plymouth Barracuda, once again this is a really nice licensed casting recolor. This thing does receive top and side temple work, has been painted in what appears to be metallic reds and this thing is rolling on the 10 spoke Y design wheels which have been painted in chrome gold. What a nice recolor of this casting, I'm definitely interested and will definitely pick this up for my personal collection. Next up we do have the Zinger 21C. This is a brand new casting for 2024, first debuting in the ear case in blue, and this is the second ever recolor. So then, this thing has been painted in metallic red which looks beautiful, it does receive rear and front tamper work, and this thing is rolling on the Y Design 5 spoke wheels which have been done in black. I love this recolor, in fact I think I like it more than the first release of this casting in blue. Super, super nice looking. Next up we do have the Brick and Mortar. This is a fantasy casting which I'm not interested in at all. It does receive side temple work, has been done in white and is rolling on in the rear at least. The beadlock wheels which have been done in black with a chrome orange lip to them and in the front it is rolling on the five spoke wheels which have been done in black with a chrome orange lip to them once again. Next up we do have the Ford Performance Supervan 4, this is a brand new casting for 2024 and this is the first ever colour of this thing, it is very well done. It does receive side and rear tamper work, it is rolling on the 10 spoke wheels which have been painted in black and the entire car has been painted in glossy white. A very nice new casting which I will definitely be picking up for my collection, I can't wait to find it in stores. Next up we do have the Mazda Autozam, this is also a brand new casting for 2024, first debuting in the 2024 B case in white, this is the second ever recolor and it looks very good in this matte blue colour. Now this thing does receive side and front tamper work and it is also rolling on the six spoke wheels which are absolutely humongous and those have been done in black with a nice grey lip to them. I really do like this recolour and I'm very tempted to pick this up for my personal collection. Next up we do have the Ford Mustang Mac A1400. This is a really nice recolour of this casting. It is also the treasure hunt for this case. So yes, it will be pretty sought after. Now then, this thing does receive its side and top tamper work. It has been painted in what appears to be metallic dark blue. And this thing is rolling on mismatch wheels. So in the rear, it is rolling on completely black five spoke wheels. Whereas in the front, it is rolling on black five spoke wheels, which do have a chrome green lip to them. Those front wheels are definitely very funky and I'm a big fan of this treasure hunt. I wasn't initially expecting to be a huge fan of this thing but I really do like it and I'll definitely be hunting this thing down. Next up we do have the Drift and Break. This is a fantasy casting so not many people will be super excited about this thing but does receive side temple work, has been painted in glossy lime green and this thing is rolling on the fan five spoke wheels which have been painted in chrome. I'm not interested and won't be adding it to my collection. However, this 91 Mazda MX-5 is really nice and I'll definitely be looking for this thing and adding it to my collection. This thing has been painted in glossy black. It does receive rear tamper work as well as side tamper work and front tamper work. It is also rolling on the five spoke wheels which have been painted in chrome and overall I can't wait to add this to my collection and I can definitely see this thing being very sought after. Next up we do have the Supercharged, this is also a fantasy casting, brand new for this case, so not many people will be super excited simply because it is a fantasy casting, but I will tell you that this thing does receive side and top tamper work, it has been done in green, and this thing is rolling on the Aerodisc wheels, which have been moulded in light green plastic, and have been painted in chrome. That's a big pass from me, I'm not interested at all, and won't be adding it to my collection. 
Next up, we do have the Mod Speeder. This is another one which I just am not interested in at all and won't be adding to my collection. This thing does receive side and top temple work, has been painted in glossy white, and is rolling on the Fan 5 spoke wheels, which have been painted in chrome light blue. Next up, we do have the Nissan Patrol Custom. Now then, this thing does receive side and top temple work. I would like to mention that it is a licensed car, as you can probably tell, since it is a Nissan. This thing has been painted in this glossy dark green colour, and this thing is rolling on the off-road beadlock wheels, which have been moulded in white plastic and have been painted in black. Personally, I prefer the red version, which came out in the 2024 B case over this thing. I'm just not a big fan of that green colour. But this is also another one which I am not that interested in. This is the Batmobile. This thing has been done in this dark grey colour. It doesn't have any temple work from what I can tell, and this thing is rolling on the Ryu Asada 6-spoke wheel which have been painted in grey. As I've said, it's not going in my collection. Next up, we do have the Super Treasure Hunt for this case. This is the 71 El Camino, and my goodness, is this casting really, really cool. I love the execution of this release as well. It just looks so good, both in Super Treasure Hunt form and also mainline form. So then, this thing does receive side and top temple work. The Super Treasure Hunt does receive this, like, Spectra Flame purple colour, whereas I'm pretty sure the regular version is just a glossy purple. And this thing is rolling on the five spoke Real Rider wheels, which have been done in chrome because it is the Super Treasure Hunt. Both the Super Treasure Hunt and the mainline version look fantastic, and I can't wait to add the mainline version to my collection. I'll probably never find this Super Treasure Hunt, unfortunately, even though it is absolutely beautiful and I love it a lot. It just looks so, so well done. Very, very good job from the Hot Wheels team. Next up, we do have the Five Alarm. This is a fantasy casting which I'm absolutely not interested in and it will not be coming into my collection. This thing does receive side temple work, has been done in red and does roll on the five spoke wheels which have been done in black with a chrome red lip to them. Next up, we do have the Runaway RASQ. This is another fantasy casting which I'm not interested in. It does receive side temple work, has been done in red once again, and is rolling on the off-road beadlock wheels, which have been done in black and grey. Next up, we do have the 15 Dodge Charger SRT. I don't mind this thing, it's definitely not my favourite, I prefer the red version which came out in the 2024 B case, but this is still pretty okay, it does receive side and top temple work, has been painted in glossy lime green, and is rolling on the 5 spoke wheels which have been painted in grey, I probably will not pick this up for my collection. Next up we do have the Lolux. Now then, this is a fantasy casting which I personally am not interested in. It does receive side and top temple work, has been painted in this glossy orange colour, and is rolling on mismatched wheels. So in the front it is rolling on the aerodisc wheels which have been painted in white, and in the rear it is rolling on the steely wheels which have been done in black with a white lip to them. Next up we do have the Audi RS e-tron GT. This thing is weird, I'm not a big fan of the colour on this thing, but the casting itself is something which I do quite like. I've already got it in my collection though in grey, so I'm not really in any rush to get this thing. Now then, this thing does receive front and rear temple work. It has been painted in this really weird brownish green colour, which is glossy, and this thing is rolling on the five spoke Y design wheels, which have been painted in grey. Yeah, as I've said, I probably will not pick this thing up, unfortunately. Next up we do have the Ford GT40, this thing is absolutely beautiful and this is my definition of a 10 out of 10 car. This thing does receive side and top temple work, has been painted in this absolutely stunning metallic dark blue colour which I absolutely love and this car is rolling on the 5 spoke wheels which have been done in black with a chrome lip to them. I love this thing, I'll definitely be picking it up. And the final new car for this case is the 94 Audi Avant RS2. This thing has been painted in glossy red. It does receive front and rear temple work. And this thing is rolling on the five spoke wheels, which have been painted in chrome. I was personally never able to find any other versions of this casting in the wild. I missed out on the black version which I absolutely love but never managed to find it so I'm really happy to be able to get a second chance at finding this casting. I can't wait to add it to my collection. 
Next, let's take a look at everything returning from the previous case, and this will give you a second chance to find all of these cars which are coming up right now. So first up, we do have the custom 72 Chevy Love. Next up, we do have the Baja truck. After that, we have the Monster High Mobile. Continuing, we have the Cadillac Project GTP hypercar. Next up, we have the Aston Martin 1963 DB5. After that, we have the Corvette Stingray. Next up, we have the 57 Chevy. Continuing, we have the Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. And next up, we have the Pontiac Aztec Custom. Continuing, we have the 70 Dodge Charger RT. After that, we have the Volvo XC40 Recharge. Next up, we have the Bricken Delivery. And continuing, we have the 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel. Next up, we have the 15 Jaguar F-Type Project 7. After that, we have the T-Rex Troyer. Next up, we have the modified 60s Fiat 500D. After that, we have the Silverado EV RST. After that, we have the Mustang Funny Car. Next up, we have the Flippin' Fast. Next up, we have the Surf Duty. After that, we have the Lane Lowrider. But there you go, that is it for the 2024 F case, what a fantastic mix of cars once again, there's something really for everyone, we've got new castings here, we've got a bunch of fantastic recolors, and my goodness has it been hard to pick my top 3 favourite cars, there's just been so many good cars here which I'm really really excited to pick up for my own collection. But that does lead me onto my ranking then, so what is my first, second and third place cars out of this mix of cars? So in third place, we do have the Zinger 21C. I just love the color on this thing and the overall execution here is fantastic. I love the red and black color scheme. It looks very good on this car. In second place, we do have the 91 Mazda MX-5 Miata. There's loads of temple work detail here. It's just so detailed. It's almost like a premium. And overall, it just has a very nice aesthetic. And finally, in first place, we do have the Ford GT40. I just love this thing. The color just seals the deal. That metallic blue is absolutely phenomenal. It's one of my absolute favorite colors I've ever seen on a Hot Wheels model, at least from what I can tell on this video. But we will have to wait and see until I get it in person. My opinion might change. But from what I've seen there, it looks absolutely stunning. But do you agree with my rankings? Let me know in the comments section down below. What would you give first, second and third place to? I love to hear your thoughts and opinions on cases. So yeah, please do leave some comments down below. I will definitely be reading them. And that does lead me onto my overall score out of 10 for this mix of cars. So what am I going to give this case out of 10? It is going to be receiving a totally deserved 8.5 out of 10. There's really just a nice selection of cars here. And as I've already said, Said, there's really going to be something for everyone and I don't think many people will be too disappointed but anyways that is really it for this video so if you guys did enjoy make sure to like if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe remember you can also press that notification bell so you do not miss new uploads remember you can also share this video any friends family on any groups who may be interested but remember don't feel pressured to if you don't feel like you have anybody who may be interested you watching this video all the way to the end means so much to me and I really do thank you for making it all the way up until this point but anyways that is really it for this video so I hope you guys did enjoy and I really do hope to see you guys in the next one bye bye everyone